The International Monetary Fund says its downgraded forecast for sub-Saharan Africa is a reflection of the prolonged downturn in commodity prices and the financial impacts of the overall global economic slowdown, making investors more risk-averse. Um, it will take some time, uh, but many of them are already embarking on difficult adjustments, and that's weighing on their near-term outlook. Um, many of the economies uh, not affected by uh, commodity prices are doing quite well, but there's also a broader tightening of global financial conditions uh, facing uh, lower income frontier economies that goes beyond the tightening uh, faced by emerging markets and that's weighing on their outlook. The IMF's World Economic Outlook has downgraded its sub-Saharan growth forecast by 1% when compared with the January numbers to 3%. Nigeria's forecast is down an even sharper 1.8% to just 2.3% this year. Difficult conditions for agricultural producers are also weighing on the outlook. Eastern and Southern Africa, uh, Southern Africa is facing a quite severe drought. Um, rainfall levels are 40% lower than the historical average. Um, and that's weighing on the outlook for many economies such as Ethiopia, uh, Malawi, uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia and also South Africa. The IMF adds that security conditions in the Sahel Belt and Central Africa are also stifling economic opportunities there. Although lowered somewhat from January, the region's 2017 forecast rises to about 4%, with economists here assuming that oil and other commodity prices will gradually begin to rise. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.